Well, hello again and welcome to another Sunday Sampler. This week we're going to be trying out a game called Industria. Industria is a first-person shooter that takes you from East Berlin into a parallel reality shortly before the end of the Cold War. On the search for a missing work colleague, you decipher a dark past in a mysterious parallel dimension. That is the description of this game from GOG.com, where I got this game. It's like 20 US dollars. It was just released on September 30th of this year. And I saw it, I think, on... Um, what's that thing called? Twitter? I think I saw it there, and I don't know, it just looked kind of cool, uh, kind of futuristic. Uh, it, it describes it as like an action horror game, so I don't know about that. But it is October, and people like to do scary things in the month of October. So let us play Industria. Let's see what happens. It's weird that it says continue, because I've never played this game before. Continue, yeah, <laughs> I asked you to load a game, I was just curious. Let's go ahead and hit new game here and get into Industria and check it out. We're given the option of normal or hardcore. With normal, enemies are easier. Ammo is plentiful and it auto saves. Hardcore enemies are challenging. Ammo is scarce. Manual in game saving. Interesting. Well, we're just going to go with normal. This is just a sampler. I want to see as much as I could see in this hour or so of play. So let's go ahead and do normal. Saul, I'm here. Nora, where have you been? Walter? Wait, I just came in from the office. I just fell asleep on the sofa. I was dreaming of really weird things. Are you still in the office working? Yes, I saw you leaving. Listen, our central processing unit, Atlas, is out of control. I just discovered parts of it all over our servers. We'll just shut it down then. Impossible. It's spread too far already. But there is something else. People are gathering at the checkpoint, Bornholmerstrasse. It's happening. Comrade Shabowski publicly said that the wall is open in a press conference just one hour ago. Wait, what? They closed down the office. The Stasi is already here. They're taking everything apart. But all the work, it can't be for nothing. Nora, I have to stop Atlas. Wait, let me come over. We'll figure it out. No, I, I don't want to drag you into this. I need to leave now. What do you mean you need to leave? Walter, wait, stop. I love you more than anything, Nora. Walter, wait. W Walter, hello? Did he just hang up on me? So, as we read earlier, we are in East Berlin, so I wonder, I wonder which side of the wall it was a bigger deal when the wall came down. I, w I would think probably the East side. It was probably a bigger deal. Probably a bigger, much bigger change of life uh, for the people on the East side when the wall came down. Uh, just a guess. Maybe an uneducated guess. I don't know. But, um, so the wall's coming down, and this Walter guy who just called Nora, who we are, we're invisible, uh, apparently this, this operating system called Atlas has gone out of control, and it's in all the servers, and he's got to figure out how to shut it down. Or no, she said shut, shut it down. And he said, nope, can't be done. Can't shut it down. So, something's going on there. He's going to take care of it. Boy, he sure does love Nora. And then he hung up on her. So that is where we are. And the TV's looking pretty cool there. I mean, it looks like real footage I mean it doesn't I mean it just, I'm just saying it doesn't look like computer graphics it looks like video so that's kind of interesting so interesting uh, apartment here all kinds of um, files and stuff there I wonder if there's a light that we could turn on I hope so because it's pretty dark in here right now it seems like I'm not sure if the game is running as well as I would like it seems like maybe it's hitching a little bit we'll see what happens here once we start moving around so let's start exploring. 
our environment here. A uh, new diary entry. Let's check out our journal. Something's wrong with Walter and he says he needs to leave. I have to head back to the office and hope he's still there. So that's our diary. We need to find Walter. Notes. We have no notes yet. What a cute little picture here. Photograph. But uh, you know how like normally when you... Oh, we need to oh. for Walter. Just hope he didn't do anything stupid. Yeah, me too. You know, normally like when you walk into a room, there's like a light switch on the wall right there. So you can turn on the light. Doesn't appear to be uh, the case here in this German apartment. I don't know. Maybe things are different in East Germany. Can we make a phone call? No, we can't interact with it. All right. Come on, man. That's cool. We could see outside into the courtyard, maybe. Or the street between the buildings. I like this. See that some of them have their lights on. That's pretty cool. That's a little... Kind of makes it feel a little bit more real, right? Uh, so even though we are in um, East Germany... Uh, this stuff appears to be in English, right? Things to do in the she office. Oh. The Stasi might have closed the facility down. <laughs> She's going to keep nagging me until we leave. Uh, do not ever spill coffee over your keyboards. I'm not sure what that says. We need the money for something. Yeah, don't disturb Mr. Solheim. Huh. So she's... She's Nora Solheim, so there's a Mr. Solheim. Uh, don't disturb Mr. Solheim when he is working or you get... I'm not sure what they said. Fired? If you don't understand a colleague's language, tell Mr. maybe Solheim. And the guy gets fired as well. <laughs> and you when you disturb Mr. Solheim. <laughs> don't... Something this sheet from the... Don't remove this sheet from the corkboard. Okay, that's cool that you could read that, though, but... Yeah, interesting that it's in English. The uh, radio is in German. There, let's turn that off. Grab. Oh, oh okay, so we got a little bit of physics here. Okay, that's kind of cool. So it's not something you could pick up. I mean, uh, put in your inventory, but you can uh, grab it. It's a little after midnight, it looks like. Interesting little kitchen here. Ah, man. I don't know. Am I a dork? I mean, I'm, I've, I'm, you know, what, five minutes into this game and all I've done is walk from one room to another and I'm already excited that I get to explore a place like this. I've never been in an East German apartment before. Is this what they looked like? I don't know. Pretty cool, though. It is November of 1989, we saw from the start. That's when the Berlin Wall fell. I'm sure you all know that from your history. Actually, I'm not 100% sure that's true. Uh, use. A brilliant machine, one of three. It seems our attempts to transmit living tissue have come to a sobering stop. Initial tests were done on microscopic plankton, a test which it seemed to be successful as the subjects continued to thrive for days after. Then we tested on algae, at which point the side effects became slightly more apparent. Some of the algae survived the process, and really, other than a slight variation in color, it seemed fine. Oh, but I think there's something more to come after that. So here's a little bit. I mean, this doesn't seem like a terrible apartment. I mean, they've got a, a bedroom here, and, and uh, you know, here's your bathroom. Love this green porcelain whatever these things are made out of. So, um, we found a note. I don't think there's any other ones in here, so let's go ahead and go on outside. Oh, cool! <laughs> For some reason, I was thinking we were just going to, like, magically transform or transport to the office. I don't know why I thought that. So I'm very excited that I get to walk in the hallway here. <laughs> I don't know, man. I love exploring these virtual worlds. I love it. So what, we're on the fourth floor, it looks like, maybe? You know, we do have a, uh... Well, maybe we haven't picked it up yet, but there was a key for torch. For a flashlight. But, um... Maybe we haven't picked it up yet, so... Can't use it yet. Stasi. Walter wasn't kidding. The Stasi. 
Don't really know what the Stasi is. Oh, this is interesting. I have no compass, no map, no directions telling me which way to go. So just uh, kind of figure it out on our own. And uh, I mean, we don't have a car or anything. So I'm going to guess that the office is going to be this way. I mean, we really have no no idea. I don't remember seeing that there's a map anywhere. So where's the office? Uh, whoa, whoa. Okay. It's not usually like that. A tangent resonance? Resonance? Okay, the lights are coming back on. Oh, this is neat. Boy, it really shook the ground, though, huh? I was gonna say something, but now I don't remember what it was. I got distracted by the tangent resonance. Boy, it is really, really shaking the ground. Yeah, this has to be the office down here, right? <laughs> Can't go in those other buildings. Probably for the best. I don't need to be walking around in random buildings. Boy, it is really causing earthquakes here. I mean, it's a, it's got an art style of its own, right? I kind of like it. It's cute little cars. It's not like, I don't know if they're going for realism. Here's a little Stasi car here. Atlas program. Oh, I love the decor. Love it. Where is everyone? Another note. Ah, note two of three. Perfect. So, a couple of weeks later, we wanted to try something of notable scale and complexity, such as a rat. With the living rat inside, we started the procedure, and as the machine rumbled into life, there was this, like, a heavy rhythmic shock wave emanating, emanating from the shaft. It was shaking the entire room around us. So, is that what's going on now? Can we answer this phone? Oh. Keep documents ready. Oh, it translates for us. Security zone. Keep documents ready. Oh, the phone stopped ringing. Dog on it. I, mean, I can't quite get over the desk anyway. So I don't know if I could have answered the phone anyway. <laughs> I could just play a game of just exploring these old buildings. I would love that. That one's locked as well. Well, this is the game's way of pointing us in the direction it wants us to go. How strange is that wood plank ceiling, huh? I like when I jump, I can see my arms, but when I look down, I can't see my body. Okay, so the, the crouch is not a toggle. Where are we going? I guess we just press use and it'll just take us to the appropriate floor. Nora knows the way. Oh man, is the electricity going to go out when I'm on the elevator? Maybe it's not wasn't such a good idea that we took the elevator. Right? Focus, Nora. Focus. Well, the the actor playing Nora just from her voice and the way she speaks, she sounds very young to me. Walter? You here? Uh, so I wonder if Nora is young also. Project manager, Dr. Walter Rebel. Don't worry, we'll go there in a moment. My key card isn't going to work this late. But Walter's will. <laughs> okay. Holy crap. What? What, now it's like 835? What? That doesn't make any sense. New diary entry. Walter is not in his office. I should grab his key card and head to the machine and search for him. Okay, so then it shows you a picture of, I guess, where we need to go. That's kind of interesting. Atlas system. Could pick up the keyboard. Ah, crap. Oh, man, I can't leave that on the ground. Here we go, let's see. And see how good the physics are in this game.
not bad, not bad at all. It says corrupt hard disk sectors found. Please select valid boot device. What is what is going on? Oh, look at this. Well, it's not translated, but we can see tangent there. A bit of weirdness here in the textures. This is, game was made with the Unreal Engine, which is a tried and true engine. There's the key card, Dr. Walter Rebel. Can we look at his computer? No, we can't. But yes, look at this. It looks like a an IBM here. Although it says IMC. <laughs> I don't know what this thing is. What is this? Use. Here's another note. Consequences, it says. I want to inform you that Comrade Shabowski publicly said in a press conference 45 minutes ago that GDR citizens are free to cross the borders. I would suggest collecting all documents you can as there will be consequences to your program. We sincerely wish you all the best, K. Interesting. I hope I haven't missed note three. Oh, here's a photograph. So Walter said, I love you more than something something. So I guess these two are a couple and maybe that's a picture of her right there. With Walter. Well, let's take Dr. Walter Rebel's card here. Ah, Walter's key card. That's handy. So we have an inventory here and the only thing in the inventory thus far is Walter's key card. These notes on the ground look exactly like the notes that are sitting on uh, desks and such that can be picked up. <laughs> this computer's not even plugged in, man. Look at this, it's not even plugged in, although they've done a really nice job of... I mean, that's what the back of, you know, an IBM computer looked like in the mid to late 90s or 80s, right? Just like that. So that's kind of cool. But, uh, yeah. Didn't even, didn't even plug it in. Zero stars. Uh, can't read these. So why is the clock so different here than it was back at home? What's the real time? She said can't use it this late. Well, you know, I'm going to think that this is the time because Walter was still in the office and he's like, I saw you leave. So I'm going to guess this is the correct time. You know what? The time has actually moved a little bit since we've been here. When we looked at this before, it was, it was 835. Now it's like 837 or so. Okay. Let's use the key card. Can I take it with me? Can I? Do I grab the card again? Nope, it stays there. It's there for good. That's where it lives now. Uh, tape archive. None of these tapes are spinning. Here's a note. T alert. Okay. There's another note. Code list, November. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. 2309, I guess, is the code we need. Looking back out the parking lot and down the street. I like the music. It's subtle, but appropriate and kind of futuristic. Tangent materials. What the hell happened in here? 1970 to 75 to 80, 85, 90. I gotta get a flashlight. It's not a very big room. I'm wondering how thoroughly I need to search it, but we'll move on in the interest of exploring. Two, deca <laughs> two decontamination and two sender machine. That sounds ominous, doesn't it? Sender machine? Here we've got head of department, Professor Dr. Berg and Dr. Fry. Love it, these old computers sitting here. Yes! There's that hard disk failure message. Do any of these work? Use, yes! Atlas system, vent radioactive gas, yes or no? I don't know, man. It's gonna go randomly venting radioactive gas. Maybe once I get down the hall, I'm gonna find that there's a room I can't get into um, because there's radioactive gas. All right? What do you think? Site plan. 
I love that you can read these. So we saw that we could vent radioactive gas. Sender machine decontamination observation. Keep documents ready. Tangent materials in. Oh, okay, here's the code. Let's go vent this gas, man. I don't know. We have the option to do it, so let's do it. It's probably important. No. Venting prevents explosion. Okay. Why did it make me type no? <laughs> I just pressed a key, man. <laughs> Okay, well, that's the end of that. Can't change what I've done. Of course, all computers in all types of media must beep. Imagine if your computer beeped like that at you all the time. 2309, use 2309. Oh, look at this room. <laughs> okay, Atlas system. Take me to your leader. Is this a decontamination room? Maybe? Maybe this was a decontamination room. And not a freight elevator. Oh, neat. This doesn't look good at all. You think? Ten... Days. Thank you. I would not have guessed that that word was days. Nine days. Oh, that room looks spooky. Is that a whale or something? Is that a whale's tail? In the eight days room. Seven days room. What the mother is that? It's like a bunch of chairs like... Merged with each other. That's scary. Oh, this game is getting neat. 96 hours. 72 hours. That's the word for hours? Huh. Uh, I, I never learned really any German in high school. I, and a little bit in college, I took some Spanish. But German. German always kind of fascinated me. Okay, observation. We'll go in there in just a moment. This is disturbing. To me, anyway. What is this? What is this? Oh my God, what is happening? Why is it shaking that bad? Walter! Are you here? Yo. What is happening here? Why is it going that wrong? This is neat. So we've got a lift here, but there's also an observation room that we're gonna go stick our nose into real quick. Uh huh, or not. <laughs> okay, game. I will go where you want me to go. Are the cameras working? Don't know. Is anybody watching us? Can't go that way either. Well, let's, uh, let's use the lift. Oh, okay, it comes from down from up there. <laughs> Whoa, things are falling. Get under cover. No! Oh, no! Oh, crap. I'm getting, like, Half-Life vibes. Right? The original Half-Life? Kind of Half-Life-y. Okay, this opened at least. New diary entry. The shock waves destroyed the crane. I have to find an alternate path up to the sender. Cool. Okay, let's find an alternate path up to the sender. Huh. That's interesting. We didn't see this note come up, or at least I didn't. I need an access code to gain entrance to the machine chamber. There's normally a list of daily codes in the archive room. Well, we found that on our own. Jump? I mean, listen to this, like, this ambient music. It's very, very well done. I 
I have no idea how long this game is, but I'm thinking it's probably going to be pretty short since it was only 20, 20 bucks. Boy, this doesn't look dangerous at all. Sheesh. Especially with it shaking as it is. Oh my gosh. She's adventurous. That's cool. U-T-E-P. No way of knowing what that is. Or what it means. There's a door here that we can't even open. That's a big door. Oh gosh, we gotta climb a ladder. Welcome. Why aren't you translating that for me, game? I couldn't even begin to translate that. I have no idea. I mean, I know that's welcome. <laughs> but I have no idea what the rest of it is. Holy mackerel, we're gonna go up here. Okay, she ain't scared. Guess we'll go out here. Huh. Steps to... Oh. That's interesting. It looked like the door is the door is cracked a little bit. <laughs> we can't get in there. Okay, so this is where the lift would have taken us. I'm actually afraid to step out there. The way this place is falling apart. Uh I know verboten is forbidden. Maybe entrance forbidden? You need a pass. Maybe. What is going on? Hey, wait a minute now. Um. Oh, here we go. You did it. You did it, she said. You brilliant idiot. You did it. What did he do? Let's look at our journal. He did it. He entered the machine, and God only knows where he's ended up. My only hope now is to follow him inside. That's our only hope now? Okay. Oh, this is very cool. Don't know what these things are. Huh, I hear like an old hard drive. Use. Atlas system, Atlas sender and receiver version 4.0.5 ready. You ready for this? We're going on a little trip. I'm coming for you, Walter. You can't leave me here. Starting sequence. Okay. 1B. Oh, 1B is hiding behind here. Okay. Air. 5B. I guess I only have a few seconds to set these, so let's be quick. 3B. <laughs> I love the sound effects. 4A. Oh. Okay. Okay, what's gonna happen? We got a trap door. Finally! Now get me the hell out of here. Okay. Alright, this feels weird now. Oh shit! Oh my god, is this right?
Why is it all black and white? Well, we got a note we could read. Maybe this will kind of give us a clue as to where we are and what's going on. Oh, okay. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Pretty sure that's not any language at all. Okay. Okay, well that was not very useful. We hear people's voices murmur, murmur, murmur. Don't see anyone though. This is neat. Definitely hear some people talking. Quite catch what she catch what she said. He said newspapers. I hear him saying he doesn't mind something. She said something I don't mind. These are strange days. Love the brutalist architecture. This is awesome. Oh, what the crap? What? Can I get down there? What? Is that Walter? I think if it was Walter, she would have said something. Oh, that's neat. <laughs> He's so calm. I love that there's a spotlight on him. Oh, here comes another one. What the hell? Why are they walking like that? How do I get down there? I want better seats. What? <laughs> Check it out, she's gonna fly up that way. Awesome. That's quite a magic trick. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Is she not going all the way up? What's gonna happen? There's the spotlight. Whoa. Show's over, folks. Go home. Oh. Well, it sure is dark. Still don't have a flashlight. What the hell was that? <laughs> what the hell was that, man? Oh my gosh, that was awesome. The glowing door. Okay. Walked into it. I like that artwork right there. What is that? What is this place? Walter? Okay. Are those dates? I don't know. Don't know if those are dates or what. To machine. Something wonder machine. Looks kind of unused for a while, huh? This is so cool. What is this? Very neat. So... This machine, to me, looks like it was a wonder machine, 
but looks like it's been a long time. Ooh, the game saved. That's nice. Looks like it's been a long time since the machine was used. There's like some very crude benches here for people to observe. This is fascinating. Here's a note, maybe. Can we read this one? Yeah, operational test number 32. Oh, we've gone back in time? Test date 4 6 Test time 7.38 a.m. Test results. The machine powered up and was stable for 12 minutes before an unexpected shutdown. Notes. There still seems to be no clear operational purpose. <laughs> okay. Man, we never did find the third note of a brilliant machine. I wonder where that note was. I don't know. Missed it, though. Disappointing that I would miss something like that. Use. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sure, sure, sure. Why not? Why not? Nothing written on the chalkboard. So there's this machine here, and they don't seem to know what it does. Or at least that note. When they wrote that note, they didn't know what it did. 1979. Yeah, you need this sign here to go to the machine. I mean, it's right there. Make sure there's no notes here on the table. I don't... I don't like missing stuff like that, man. Well, let's see if we can get out of here. I'm surprised it didn't fall back down. Walter! There's a rat or something over there, a shadow of some critter. Oh, here he is. Okay. Oh, oh, we've got the torch now. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's, it's weird that it said 1979, but it sure seems a lot longer ago than that. Okay, here's a crank. Well, take. Maybe we put it in our inventory. Yeah, we may need that. Oh, here's a note, maybe. A telegraph, one of two. Uh, January 15th, 1979. Pavel, from the communications room, delivered a telegraph to me this morning. The boy was anxious, to say the least, and in his hand, the message in question. As I drew my attention to the paper he had given, I tried to make out what I was looking at. Where is this from, I asked, but the boy didn't know. The telegraph spat it out that morning. <laughs> this is great. I don't know if we need to collect new batteries for this flashlight we've got at some point. Like, can I just leave it on all the time, or should I turn it off to conserve power? Oh, here's where we use the crank. Um, I mean, I picked up the crank, so... I was kind of expecting the game to be like, Hey man, do you want to use something in your inventory? Ooh, okay, down in the lower left-hand corner. Okay. See that? The battery was draining. So do I need to go into my inventory and use this? Yes, indeed. We just need to figure it out on our own. Oh boy, it's looking very dark in here. Oh my gosh, yeah, this battery is not going to last forever. What the crap? What the hell? Oh, here's another battery. Okay, that's good. What? Why did she scream or something? What am I looking at? What? Whoa. What? What was that? My thoughts exactly, lady. This is awesome. Just got a small. Oh, okay. So, if uh, if I was playing hardcore, um, this is where I would save the game. It doesn't save automatically in hardcore. You need to find typewriters, just like in uh, Resident Evil games. So nice, nice homage. Oh, this is fantastic. 
I am really liking this so far. Use. What was that thing that walked by, huh? What was that? It didn't quite look human, did it? Rosendahl. For the people of Hakovic. So now suddenly that's in English. Osgang? What is it? Sound. I'm very strong. Take. Pistol rounds? Oh, crap. Okay. I'm trying to conserve my battery. Got some books here. Another note. This is telegraph two of two. Around the outside of the paper were measurements, and at the center, a diagram depicting some kind of machine. 97 pages were printed in total, all showing components that make up the large machine. Was this meant for Vevelstad? Had we received it in error? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, okay. Oh, for crying out loud. I guess I needed to take this thing. I found a sturdy pickaxe. Well, can't wait to use this. Sheesh. Holster it. Well, we're going to use the pickaxe to get through this barricade over here. Oh, that, is that a battery? Okay, good, it is. Excellent. Can I get through here? Okay, here we go. What was that thing that we saw walk by? Exits. Okay, I was wondering if that's what that meant. No entrance. I'll do what I want. What's this? SMG rounds? What is that stuff in there? <laughs> what the heck am I looking at? What the heck? Come on, take a swing. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, game saved. Oh. Are those humanoids over there? What the heck? What is that? Can't get through here. Some doors here. Can't get through these big doors. So these guys are just hanging out over here. An elevator. Maybe that's the way out of this terrible place. Elevator, journal entry. The lift in the main hall is not working. If I can restore the power, then perhaps I can use it to reach the surface. What is this? Start the lift? Uh, Haravik News, Machine Invasion. That says 1994. Harkovic is under something, the royal something. It's under threat. The Royal Army fights in the streets of Hakovic. Machine invasion. Okay, we're going to go through there in just a moment. What is this? Son of a... What? Oh, somebody's shooting them. Oh, somebody up there. 
probably get the hell out of that. Then tell me how! The elevator needs power. The steam machine through the door underneath me are your only hope. Who are you? Hey, wait, wait, come back! <laughs> So there's a steam machine over there. We'll go through there in a moment, but we saw that there were other places we could go. Oh gosh, there's actually quite a few places we could go, it looks like. Now, this is one of those cases where real life and video games contradict. Because in real life, I would be like, yep, yep, gonna find the steam machine and get the hell out of here. I wouldn't be running around here exploring, right? But, since it's just a video game, nitric acid, sulfuric acid. All right, I'm just gonna add this stuff to my inventory. I have no idea, chemistry, I was not good at chemistry in school. Uh, so I have no idea what those two ingredients combined would make. I could use it. This battery here, I'm going to leave here and take it when uh, the battery that I currently have is almost dead. Oh. More pistol rounds. Well, once we find a pistol, we'll have some rounds. Okay, so we need to go to that machine, but it looks like we could maybe go over here as well. Get these things out of the way here. Some kind of experiment room. Beans! Taste of the royally kitchen? Okay, that doesn't even make sense. Okay, that was a cool sound effect. Okay, another battery. I might as well take it. You can see my flashlight battery gets filled up when I pick it up. Uh, stop. Seek refuge and report to the nearest policeman. Supply. Inside of it, some more SMG rounds. It's an awful big box for that little supply of rounds. What's going on here? Place ingredient. Glassotron. Add more ingredients first. Okay, so maybe this is what's going to give us gas for the steam machine, perhaps? Phosphoric acid. Good for treating rust. Oh, thanks. Appetite? <laughs> Propane, appetite, sulfuric acid. Yeah, it says place ingredient, but... For some reason, I'm not placing any ingredients there. Unless I need to go into my inventory and do use. Sure, 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 why not? Okay, I've got some nitric acid there and some sulfuric acid here. Use. Oh, ouchies. What the hell did I just do, man? I don't freaking know, man. Sulfuric acid. And appetite? Come on, that's not even a word. Oh, <laughs> gee whiz. Let's see if any of this makes sense. Okay, we've got... Boric acid. Heavy water. <laughs> ammonia. Oh, here's appetite. Okay, what the hell is appetite? Okay, so I was I was combining the wrong ingredients. I just happened to find two ingredients. Didn't know there were going to be more. So does it matter which side is which? Is this the appetite side? Okay, and then we need some uh, sulfuric acid. We know where to get that. Right over here. We can sprint. 
Sulfuric acid. So cool. Okay. All right. Here we go. Place ingredients. Let's stand back this time. I mean, this should work, but we're gonna, we're gonna stand back anyway. So we made something. We made H3O4P, which I guess is phosphoric acid. Maybe that's what we made. Made. I don't know why they don't have a phosphoric acid vending machine like they do other. Uh, what is what is this called? Is that, it's not an element. It's a. Uh, I don't know what it is. Anyway. Okay, so we picked that up. Now we're going to go over here and go in this room. It's rusted over. Oh. Maybe I can find something to remove the rust. There we go. Phosphoric acid. Very good at removing rust. <laughs> rust remover. This is so great. This is so great. Take that. Flashlight battery is completely dead. I forgot to turn it off. Oh, I know where there's another battery. Let's go back and get it real quick, huh? The flashlight's still working for the time being, but very dim. There we go. Oh, it didn't quite fill the flashlight all the way up. Okay. Hmm, I just assumed that the battery, every one I picked up, would fill it up all the way, but it didn't. Big machinery here. Is that another battery? Game saved. All right, well, <laughs> I was waiting for the game to save. I, I do not want to stop. I, I don't know why I got my, my weapon out. Uh, I want to keep playing and I want to see where this goes, but alas, this is just a Sunday sampler and that is what we have done. We have sampled this game on this Sunday. If you like this kind of game, I highly recommend you go get it. I got it off of GOG.com for $19.99 US dollars. Uh, I believe it's also on Steam. It's probably everywhere. I don't know. You might even be able to find it cheaper, but come on, it's 20 bucks. This, this, this has already been 20 bucks worth of entertainment. And I am so intrigued as to what is going to happen next. So I hope you enjoyed this Sunday sampler. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters. Without you guys, I would not be able to do this. If you'd like to help support the production of future Sunday samplers, go on over to patreon.com slash mentalfox and sign up. I sure would appreciate that. You also get access to all kinds of behind the scenes stuff and um, stuff you don't find anywhere else. So thank you guys so much for joining me on this week's Sunday sampler. Let me know, let me know what you thought of the game. Let me know in the comments what you think. Is this something you would play? Or are you going to go grab it? Let me know. I'd like to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in another video soon.